I exited to the Wii menu after I deleted Edeled. While Edeled was willing to show me what happens when Wii's get deleted, I still felt guilty. I hoped he wasn't going through too much pain. I went to the Wii message board and waited for the blank envelope to arrive. It popped up, and I pointed my Wii remote at it and pressed A. A box with a play icon appeared. Edeled told me to play the video, so I did. The video started, and all I saw was static. The static was on the screen for 30 seconds until it cut to a hallway. In the hallway were hospital beds lined up next to each other. There were Mies laying on most of the beds, with some of the beds being empty, and the Mies were connected to life support machines. The Mies were all pale, some were silent, while some were crying for help. As the camera moved slowly across the hallway, I saw Mies flatlining. Nearly all of them were flatlining. I was speechless at this point. The camera then cut to Edeled, laying on one of the beds. He was hooked up to life support machines, with wires all over his arms, legs, and forehead. Sam, Edeled said in a weak voice. I'm not upset with you. I understand that you want to know what happens to a me when it gets deleted. But please, never do this again. The pain gets worse every time I get deleted. I'll meet you in the new channel. Edeled got up slowly. He ripped off all the wires that were attached to him. He began to glow blue, and slowly disintegrated. It was around this time that the TV turned black, and I heard a faint voice in the background. I didn't expect Edeled to be here. Who, who was that? I asked frightfully. The voice was different than Edeled. The pitch kept on going up and down, and overall it sounded like it was corrupted. The video then stopped, and it took me back to the Wii message board. With no time to waste, I went back to the Mii channel. I saw Edeled, but he was just sitting down, with his hands on his eyes, like he was crying. Edeled, I'm sorry. I apologized. It's fine. Just please don't do it again. I don't really understand still. If it's okay, could you explain more about your backstory? I asked politely. Edeled looked at me. <sighs> Alright. I was employed at Nintendo on December 8th, 1998, when I was 22. Edeled explained. I died on November 18th, 2006, the day before the Wii's launch and one day short of my 30th birthday. I started to feel bad for Edeled. I'm so sorry, Edeled, I said quietly. It's not your fault. Besides, I'd rather live in the Wii rather than live the way I was before. I died while making this me. I went into a back office with the Wii, and I wanted to make myself as I wanted to look like if I was a me. You wanted to look like this? Why? I asked. It's just the way I like it. Anyway, I was electrocuted, and I died. A few moments later, I was reborn as the me I made moments earlier. So your spirit is in this Wii? I asked. Yes. Anyway, after a few days of living in the new channel, I saw the delete icon. I was curious, and I deleted myself. I bet you didn't know what was going to come, I said. No, no I didn't. It was the biggest mistake I have ever made. Anyway, I was in the hallway, but this time it was empty. The pain was intense, but I managed to walk. I cried for help. I sat there until... Edelette stopped. I... I saw a portal appear in front of me. I went through it, and I was taken to what I think was an earlier version of the hallway. Earlier version? I think I was starting to understand. 
I just needed a bit more information. What was the earlier version like? I asked. I can't say it, but I'll tell you this. I was shocked, both mentally and physically. Edelette explained. How was he shocked? Sure, I can understand what he meant by mentally, but physically? What did that mean? Sam, I'm home. My mother called out as she came in from work. Sorry, Adelaide. I gotta go, I said as I turned off the Wii. My mother walked into my room. Sam, who are you talking to? She asked. No one, I quickly replied. She looked skeptical. Alright, well, I'm going to make dinner. It should be ready in an hour or so, she announced as she walked to the kitchen. I closed the door. I sat on my bed as I wondered what to do next. I decided to go on my laptop. I haven't been on it for a while. I turned it on, put my password in, and got in. I received a notification on Skype. Someone was trying to call me. The name of the person who was trying to call me was Kyle Sander. Was this the same Kyle? The Kyle who previously owned this Wii? It couldn't be. The likelihood of this being the same Kyle is extremely low. Besides, my mom was cooking dinner, and she doesn't like me talking to random people online. I decided to just ignore the call and play some games on my laptop. About an hour and a half later, it was time to eat dinner. We had fish, my most hated food. I didn't complain or anything, but I just ate it slowly. I just looked at the fish on my plate while I chewed the fish that was in my mouth. It was disgusting to me. After my mother went to bed about two hours after dinner, I got another Skype call from Kyle. Because my mother was in bed, I answered. Who is this? I asked. Alright, listen to me very carefully. We don't have much time. Kyle said in a hurry. Well, can I at least know who you are? I asked again. My name is Kyle Sander, and I believe that you own a Nintendo Wii that was previously mine. My eyes widened. This was the same Kyle? How? How did he know that I owned the Wii? Okay, what do you want to know? I asked. Alright, do you live in the Toronto area? Yes. Okay, and did you buy a Nintendo Wii from the Valley Village in Leslieville? I said yes, and then he started to tell me about his experiences with Edeled. Apparently, from what he told me, his father, Jonathan, used to work for Nintendo. His family used to live in Redmond, Washington, where Nintendo of America's headquarters are. When Kyle turned 7 on November 28, 2006, he got a Nintendo Wii nine days after it launched. He went into the Mii channel and discovered a Mii called Edeled. He deleted him because he thought he was freaky at the time. After being fed up with repeatedly being deleted by Kyle, Edeled then deleted Kyle's me. After this, he tried to go back into the me channel, but a text box would always appear saying, We deleted you. He actually managed to get back into the me channel when his friend came to visit him a week later, only for Edeled to brutally murder Kyle's me with an axe. He never touched his Wii again after that. Shortly after that, Kyle's father, Jonathan, quit his job at Nintendo. So in 2007, Kyle's family moved to Leslieville, Toronto, where I live. He told me while he unpacked his boxes after the move, he found his Wii in one of them, and quickly put it in his closet and shut the door. He eventually bought a new Wii in 2010 with some allowance money, and then a Wii U in 2013. Later, he decided to put the Wii's SD card in his laptop in hopes to find out the origins of Edeled. He discovered a video file called deleted.mov, he proceeded to watch it to see the exact same hallway that I saw. Kyle even saw Edeled, and he told him that this is where the Mies go when they get deleted, and violently told him to learn, or he would make him learn. Then in 2014, Kyle's father, Jonathan, finally told him about why he resigned from Nintendo, and when he told me why, my eyes widened in disbelief. Kyle's father resigned from Nintendo because an employee had died in a back room and his spirit went on to possess my Wii, more specifically, a me called Edeled. 
He then told me that the employee's name was Henry. Oh my god, I said faintly. The reason I'm contacting you is to get the weed destroyed, so Edelad cannot do any more harm. Wait, what? He's not doing any harm to me, I yelled. Well, has he done harm to anyone else? I didn't want to reply to that. There was a long pause. Sam, are you there? Kyle asked as he tried to get my attention. I sat there, trying to think of an excuse. I just know that if Kyle finds out what Edelad did to Will's me, he'll surely have all intentions to destroy the Wii. You know what? I don't trust you, I yelled. What? Sam, I need you to tell me what Edelad did. Kyle instructed. No! Edelad isn't some cold-hearted murderer, I yelled again. Well, he chopped off my knee's legs and head. He grew up in a bad environment! And how do you know? Edelad told me! We were silent for a long period of time. Sam, I, I just want to help you. You're not helping me. You just want to destroy a home of a man's spirit. More specifically, a man's spirit who just wants to send a message. Don't. Delete. Me's. I quietly concluded. I hung up the call and blocked Kyle from calling me again. It was nearly 10 o'clock, so I decided to go to sleep. I turned off my laptop, laid down on my bed, and closed my eyes.